Today we're going to be talking through how to add a gallery. Maybe you've got some images on your website that you'd like to show your users in a gallery format. Or maybe you've got an existing gallery and you want to know how to remove or add photos or exclude certain photos. So um, we're just going to talk that through today for you. So once you're logged into your dashboard, you'll see a screen very akin to this. And once, if you have a look down here, you go to Pages and you click on Add New. Um, we're just going to show you how to create one from scratch and we'll talk about the removing or adding gallery images uh, a little bit later on in this video. But this is just how to add one from scratch. So we're going to do, we're going to call this example gallery page. Now once you click in this white box down here below, you'll see the flashing cursor just there. You'll see above it there's something called Upload, Insert and Add Media. If you just click on that, a new box will open that says Add Media. And it says Add Media Files from your computer. You can do it from a URL media library. In this case we're going to add it from our computer. You then click Select Files. Now we're going to find the images we want to use. We're just going to go for um, these three here. Um, then make sure you scroll down uh, and click on uh, Open, which is at the bottom right of the screen there. Uh, or OK. It might be Open or OK. So once we click on that, you'll see there's a blue uh, progress bar. You see that just zipped up to 100%. That one's done 100%. So we've uploaded three new photos. You can see they're all there. So once we've done that, we can, at this point, we can just click on the Save All Changes. Or if you wanted to rename them, you can easily do that here. You just click on Show, and we'll call this um, uh, New Name 1. And you can add alternate text, a caption, description, URL. Um, don't worry too much about that, because we're doing a gallery. And we just click on Save All Changes. Make sure you click on that. That has now saved, and if you scroll to the top, you'll see it says gallery, and in brackets says three, and you can see there's three images there. Now, what would happen if you wanted to change the order of your gallery? Well, that's really easy. This is whether you're setting up a new one or you've got an existing gallery. You just hover over to the right of the text of the image you want to. You click left and click and hold with the left mouse button, and you can just change the order. So let's put new name at number one. We'll put Nils Davy at number two. And you can see that's Ed Pym Minute 3. We just release the mouse button to, once we, we want to drop it in place. You then click on Save All Changes. And if we scroll right to the bottom, we then need to click on Insert Gallery. Now you'll see a kind of blue box has appeared here with this kind of checkered line around it. Now um, we're just going to go ahead and publish our page there. So we click Publish. And I'm just going to show you what that page um, looks like when I click here um, on the view page uh, section just here. I'm going to show you, here's our example one, and you can see we've got three images. You've got one, two, and three there. Now if we click on those, you can see them open. There we are. There's the first image. And you'll see shortly it will go to the uh, second image. There it is. So um, we know there's a third one, but we don't have to wait around for that one. So that was as easy as that. Now, let's imagine you want to add or remove an uh, image from your gallery. Go to the relevant um, page where you've added or got an existing gallery. Click in this blue box here. And click on that little um, kind of photograph icon there where it's edit, edit gallery. We click on that. A new box opens. Now let's say we want to get rid of this um, new name one. Let's say we want to get rid of that. We just click on show. We then scroll down to the bottom. We click on delete. A new little question and answer opens there. You're about to delete Neil Davies original. We click on continue. Then we must make sure we click save all changes. And then also we must click on update gallery settings. Now if we scroll over here, we must also update the page itself. So we click update. Now if we have a look back at our updated gallery, you see there's only two images there. So it's as easy as that to remove an image. Now let's imagine we want to add another, say, two images back to our existing gallery. We've got these two, but we've got new images we want to show our web users. 
we just simply click on um, where our images are. So we're going to say we're going to add these images from our computer. So we click on that one up at the top here. We know there's two in there existing. We click on select files. I'm going to add, uh, let's add in um, one of these ones here. Let's go for uh, one of these and we'll go for one of these. So I'm going to add, in fact, let's just do a different one there for you so you can show those. Make sure you scroll to OK or Open. It's open on a Mac, it's probably OK on your PC. You'll see the blue bar increase 100%. 100%. There it goes. So that's just added two new images to our two images there. If we scroll to the top, we can see it says Gallery 4. So we know that there's four images in there now. Remember, you can just drag and drop to change the order of those. Let's say we want to do that. Let's say we want to change the name of them now. So let's call this Nars Davy one example name change. So we've just changed the name there, just as easy as that. Make sure though, otherwise this won't take effect, we click on Save All Changes first, then scroll down and click on Update Gallery Settings. Also make sure you update the page once you're here, just to the right once you've updated your gallery. You can see a little progress bar there it says that's been updated. Now if we look back at our gallery, we're just going to refresh the web page, you'll see it reload any second. You'll see it's currently two as we had before, but now it will show us um, four images and you can see that. So we've got one, two, three, and then if we scroll down, there's the fourth. Now, uh, so there you go, you see, you've seen how to rename them, how to add them, how to exclude them. We're just going to show you one more thing here. Now let's say you want to add a image below your gallery. Right? So we want to add another image. We go up to here. We've got a bit of text here just to show you where I'm going to add it. We then click on the upload and insert icon and we select our photo where we'd like to add that from. We're going to go from our computer. We click on select files. Let's say we've got a Nils Dave original. We want this to be not only on the page we want a gallery, but we want to, we want another image below that, but not part of the gallery. So make sure you again you click on open or OK if you're on a PC. Once you've done that, you can see it just get uploaded there. Now here's the important bit if you want this not to be part of your gallery but on the same page. So an image separate from your gallery at the bottom of the page. You have to click how big you'd like it, where you'd like it aligned, so would you like it to left, centre, right or none? Would you like a link? What's the title, alternate, caption, description and so on and so forth. We're just going to leave it at medium. You can have it at different sizes. We're just going to leave it at that. Click on insert into post. If I don't click on insert and post but I click save all changes, that will get added to my gallery. But if I click insert into post, it's telling your website that you would like this separate from your gallery. Now if we scroll down you can see that we've added that image to our gallery. Now the only problem here is we're going to just update the page so it's uh, refreshed through. The only problem is if we look back at the page now and we refresh it, you'll see we've got five images now including that one that we just wanted to appear below our gallery. So you can see here the red hair um, piece of art there, the artwork of the lady there, and you can see it again here. So you're thinking, hang on a minute, we only wanted this image below the gallery and not to be in the gallery. All you do then is you find the ID of your of your image, and the way you do that is you click on Media Library, and we said we needed to find this Nils Davy one here. This is the one that we uploaded as a separate uh, picture to appear below the gallery down here and we found it in our media library and we can tell that it's this one here Nils Davy original there so all we need to do is hover over it and you'll see an ID attachment and in this case it's 585 so now we jump back to our page where our example gallery page is and we're just going to double check that for you so you've just got to memorize that one and we know that the attachment here is 585 and all we do is we go back to our um, example gallery page and um, this is the key bit, you click on the HTML bit 
don't worry, it's nothing to, and you click inside this gallery bit, do a space, type exclude, do an equal sign, do a double uh, sort of apostrophe thing there, and we enter 585, so we're telling, we want a gallery here, but we want to exclude the image ID of 585. We then click on update here. We then refresh our web page, like so, and you will see that that Niles Davy one has disappeared, but it's still there. So we've now got the image exactly how we wanted it. We've got it below our gallery, but not appearing in our gallery. So it's separate from that, and we've told it not to display in there. So I hope you found that useful. We've talked through today how you can make a gallery page, how you can add and exclude images, and even if you want an image below your gallery, not to be repeated within the gallery itself. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.